Hey electric vehicle fans, Mark here with another installment of My EV Life. Can you guess which Rivian accessory just arrived in this rather large box? Well, if you guessed the Rivian all-weather floor mats, you nailed it. And you probably read the title of the video. So today I'm going to show you how these all-weather mats look installed in the truck. We'll compare them to the standard mats that came with it. And then maybe I'll pour some water on them and see how they hold. But that's about it. These are floor mats, so this should go by pretty quick. All right, so let's get into it. Now to be clear, I bought these all-weather floor mats from Rivian and I paid full price, so I'm not sponsored or incented to say anything here other than what I think. And it looks like they're selling right now for $175 and I'll put a link to the website down below in the video description. Before we install the new mats, let me show you the original factory mats because they're actually pretty cool. They have a unique color and texture to them and I'm a little sad to see them go. Rivian put thought and attention into everything that went into this truck, and these floor mats are no exception. They're not your average floor mats. They're made from an extruded yarn that is environmentally friendly, using vegetable compounds instead of petroleum, and they're actually supposed to have quite an extended lifespan. Looking at mine, for as light and as thin as they are, I was surprised at how well they fared after 10 months protecting my carpet. I have a family with small kids who have no regard for the finer things. Most of the year I'm getting into the vehicle wet from kite surfing. In the winter we do snow trips. I wear boots often. I did not baby them. I never cleaned them. And I left them caked in sand for weeks at a time. Speaking of, I also really blasted the heck out of this truck with sand on numerous trips to the Pismo sand dunes. Now check out those videos on my channel if you have not seen them. And through all of that, they have resisted the sand and the water really well. Just look at them. They look great. Now I did find one snag on them right here, and I'm sure I could dab some glue on that and it would be unnoticeable. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with them. In fact, a little sad to see them go, but they are thin, they're not truly waterproof, and my lifestyle warrants all weather. So we're taking these out, getting the all weather ones in, but we're not throwing these away. We're gonna keep these. Now let's talk about the new mats. Now the reason these mats came in that giant box is because Riven was kind enough to consider that no one likes to receive expensive rubber mats folded over with a crease in them, which is how every other expensive all-weather mat set has been shipped to me in the past, so this was appreciated. A quick review of the specs or features here on these mats. They are odorless, latex-free, made from eco-rubber, and of course weatherproof. And they come with a two-year warranty. As for their thickness, I would say they're fairly thick. I measured them to be here about a quarter of an inch. Just have to wait for that to come into focus there. Yeah, a quarter of an inch. And they have many very sharp spikes on the underside. This keeps them from moving around on the carpet. And they snap into the vehicle with these designated points here. Two per mat, three in the back. And this is why you probably want to buy the Rivian made mats over anything else. There's also Rivian badging on them. And the logos face out towards the door if that helps you install them, which means I have the left and the right mats here reversed. So those logos face outwards. And that looks like this. And last but not least, as all weather mats, they have these grooves in them, many of them to capture the water, which we will test later. All right, let's head outside and install these. So of course, get the old ones out. You just have to pop the two tabs off, two per mat in the front, and three in the back. I'm just showing you here how you take them off and put them back on, pretty simple. Now I'll demonstrate removing the old mats and putting in the new ones and don't blink because it goes by pretty quick. And that's done. Now I'll move to the right side. Just a tip here, I found that trying to push in the knob was a lot harder than just punching it with your hand. Give it a good whack and it'll snap in. Now in the back you have three snaps to undo, left, right, and center. Here I am with the overhead cam. I would recommend folding the mat as you slide it out and being careful not to let all the sand and debris end up in the vehicle. Now as we put the new mat in, I'd recommend putting the front facing edge in first and then the back like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line up the tab, the first one, and just going to punch it with my fist. That's the easiest way to get it to snap in. And that's it. 
Easy peasy. We're done. Looks good, doesn't it? So let me try to give you a view of all three mats at one shot here. See the front. I'll come around shaky camera and all and show you the back. Looks pretty slick. Now, last thing I'll do here is flip back and forth and show you the factory mat versus the all weather mat. And you can see what they look like side by side. The standard mats versus the all weather, standard all weather, moving to the right, standard all weather, standard all weather. And for the back, you got the standard all weather, standard and all weather. And I think that's just about every angle I can show you in a comparison of side by side. Now let's do one last thing and play with some water. So the last thing we're gonna do here today is simulate a spill and pour some water on the mats. See how much it can hold. The grooves are kind of small, so as I pour my 12 ounces of Topo Chico on it, I'm not sure all that's gonna stay on the mat, but let's see what happens. All right, let's have my cameraman zoom in a little bit here. Okay, here we go, Topo Chico pouring. Let's take a look, see what happens. All right, it's going in the grooves, it's going in the channels, it's staying within the, the edge of the raised boundary. Oh, just starting to pour off here on the side, right here. So that was the max. I did all 12 ounces and because of the angle, and I'm also parked quite a bit downhill, so everything's gonna flow to the back. And so it did kind of come out right there at the last last ounce or so in this bottom corner, but not bad. I mean, not, not often you're pouring a whole 12 ounces into your car. So now this will be the hard part. We know this is not going to go too well, but let's see. I'm pop it and see if I can pour it out the side. Yeah, and I'm just getting it everywhere. But that's all right. Ideally, I would have just taken a towel and wiped it up, but there you go. Not bad. A little less than 12 ounces when you're parked downhill. And I can't think of a better way to end a video on all weather mats than standing out in the weather. So I hope you found some of that information useful or entertaining. I encourage you to click over to my channel and check out all my other videos. And I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I want to thank you for your time today. I'll see you in the next video, and you have yourself a great... EV day.